I made a CD player that plugs into a USB port. Why did I do this? Good question. Look, when it spins, you can put the Sharpie there and it makes lines. Unplug it, stop it with my finger, and look, circular lines. Here's how I made this contraption. A CD motor plus two wires. Strip the wires. See, that's a stripped wire. And those are the wires after they've been stripped. Now to solder. Oh, my head makes it out of focus. Thank you, head. After that, the two wires are one wire. Repeat with the other side. Now the wires for the CD player are slightly longer. Now for the USB cable part, because yes, this thing does work via USB. One of these flat USB cables are ideal because they have two wires in them on either side, and I just cut down the middle of the wire, then I stripped the two sides that were cut, and then there's two wires poking out of that USB cable. And now I soldered those wires to the USB cable wires. Now that they're soldered, it's time for a test. Oh look, it spins. Now that I know it works, I'm gonna wrap it in tape. I tested it and it didn't work, so I had to take it all apart again. Too much pressure was being put on the wire connection, so I added a paper clip for rigidity and taped it back together again. Now it works, and it's worked ever since. What do you think of this contraption?